down for him. Welcome to Find Your Outdoors. I'm your host, Frank Willem. You know, through the years, our team has had the opportunity to collaborate with many worthwhile organizations and created some truly memorable adventures. One such organization that we hold dear is Kids Outdoors. We were introduced to founders Rick and Carol Clark some time ago, and we were immediately drawn to their vision. They bring outdoor adventures to children with special needs that would otherwise be prohibited from being able to participate and experience the things here at Find Your Outdoors that we cherish so deeply. Whether suffering from a physical disability or even a terminal illness, Kids Outdoors plays a huge role in making sure that these children searching for their next outdoor adventure are given the opportunity to make their dreams a reality. In 2018, we were proud to announce the South Mississippi chapter of Kids Outdoors and have since been privileged in meeting some truly extraordinary kids. We've held bass tournaments at Twisted Pines where local high school anglers were teamed with our special needs kids for a day of fishing. And hunting trips for red stag deer at Gaddy Farms are at the 345 Ranch in Texas, where our kids have had the chance to hunt for big game. And this year, we got kids involved in fishing tournaments with Marty Wilson's Croker Classic. Here, the kids outdoors folks get to experience their own bit of success and recognition alongside local anglers. What stands out most is the impact Kids Outdoors has on the families and children they encounter. This week, we were lucky enough to be joined by a remarkable young man, Colby Harris, and his family for a great day of fishing for Red Snapper on the Gulf Coast. Colby has been battling leukemia for the better part of a year, and we were happy to be able to team with Greg Williams and Captain Eric Gill to give the Harris family a day to remember finding their outdoors. Check it out. I'm Ronnie Harris. I'm the father of Colby Harris. Uh, Colby is my son who was diagnosed with ALL leukemia back uh, April a year ago. Uh, it's been a challenging year and a half for us. Um, we're here with kids outdoors going on a fishing trip that uh, they, these guys have put together for us. Um, they've been super patient. We've had some cancellations along the way and they've been super patient and rescheduling several times for us. And we're excited to be here. We're going to have a blast and can't thank kids outdoors enough. I'm Colby Harris. Y'all just interviewed my dad, Ronnie Harris. Um, I was diagnosed with leukemia for uh, a year ago, April 4th, and the Kids and Outdoors has been a blessing to give me a, a trip to fish for Red Snapper and all kind of other fish, so I'm happy to do this. Hi, I'm Carol Clark, uh, founder of Kids Outdoors. We're here in Mississippi with our Mississippi chapter. Uh, we're taking a young man out fishing that has leukemia. He wanted to go deep sea fishing and thanks to Mr. Willem here in our Mississippi chapter, that, that came uh, to be a, a reality here. We are very thankful, looking forward to the day. So when I found out April 4th when I was at AL leukemia, I was, I was scared, I was shocked, but I still try to, try to keep a smile on my face for my family, trying to stay strong because I know it, it killed him. I saw my mom break down, my brother and my dad, but I, tr I tried to stay positive, keep my faith. But it was, it was hard, but I was just, my family and my friends to keep the strength and always have a smile on my face. Even when I was feeling bad, when they asked me how I, was, how I felt, I'd always say good, just to make sure they wouldn't have to worry about me or anything. <sighs> It was, it was a shocking moment to, to hear that those words. That it was, 
leukemia. One thing about when you're diagnosed with a terminal illness like this, you, you gain such a different level of friendship with so many new people. And that's, that's special, that people will reach out to you like this, and I'm sorry, that are, um, that are willing to, uh, ex these things come with sacrifices, we know that. Colby understands that, that people have to reach out and things have to be pulled together, the boat, the captain, you guys, it, it's, it, it truly humbles you as a parent. It really does. Oh my God. <laughs> this, is, this, is a lot, this is a lot bigger than last night. <laughs> Oh, Kobe, uh, out of all our five boys, I have five boys. He's the one that really has enjoyed fishing, uh, just local fishing in our, our river. So something like this for to be able to go out and to catch the type of fish that we're going to catch. Kobe's elated. He, his, he was heartbroken the first time we got it, got it canceled, and uh, he's been on cloud nine ever since. So he's, I know he's super excited. The way that I met Kids Outdoors was through my dad. He told me that. A guy at our church has his, his mom and dad takes kids and they do amazing things with them. They're such a great organization what they do for kids. But he told me that if I would like to go fishing or deep sea fishing, I said, yeah, that would be, be a blast. And I immediately asked if I, could, if I could bring somebody other than just me and you. He said, I'll ask. And he said, but they said we could. And I immediately asked if I could bring Brandon because he is probably the only person in our family that likes fishing other than me. Uh, we've kind of told him and kind of looking forward to maybe seeing some snapper. He just wants to get a fish on the line. He's looking very much forward to it and is excited. That's all we've heard is, I just want to catch a fish. It's been, it's been a tough ride, but I've had some true people stick around and help me through everything that has I've been through and everything with my family, my friends. They have all they have really helped in what they did and have really thought about me and pushed me to keep my head up, keep my faith and stay strong for everybody, for my family, for me. What that camera? I'm trying to get a close shot. You got it, Brandon. Come on. Come on, Brandon. You got it, Brandon. You got it, Brandon. So, April 3rd, I passed out in school. My best friend was behind me, and he caught my head before he hit the ground. Thank God he did that, because it probably would have been a lot worse. But he was calling my name. He was trying to wake me up. He said my eyes were rolling in the back of my head. I was pouring in sweat. And I finally came to, and I walked to lunch. I was against the lockers. Texted my parents. They both came, one of them came and got me. Um, I went home, just laid there. Next day, I went to the, my pediatrician. She said, take off your shirt, I'm gonna check your body. So I did, and she noticed the mass. So she was naming off stuff it could be, and then she, the last thing she named was it could be cancer. 
over here. Kobe. <laughs> Two of mine. I got two. I got two of mine. In and out of the hospital for that first month. I think I was in there April for the whole entire month. Finally got to come home, and it wasn't that much longer. That I had to go back because it, I got sick again. Uh, I was I was sick for a solid week. I went down from like 125 to like 99 pounds. I just didn't feel like my normal self. But it was just, it was terrible going through that. And I've, so many people have said, I wish I could take your place. And I've said, no, you don't. I've, I don't want this to go on anybody else. It is awful going through this for me, for my family, friends, anybody that was close to me that it impacted. And I have three friends that stayed there with me through the whole, the whole thing. Will Smith, Michaela McCrary, and Colby Vining. Will Smith has been there since the very beginning and before. Colby Vining has two. And Michaela McCrary, they both have been, all been there through this whole entire thing and has, have really helped me. Always asking about me, texting me, see if I'm doing good or how I'm feeling. And they've, they've truly been there and helped during all this and lift my spirits. Hey, hey, Great trip that was. We had perfect weather, lots of fish. The fish cooperated, and so we had a good time. And I can tell you, being a father myself, it, I always enjoyed the pleasure on my kids' faces when we got a chance to do things. And it gave me a lot of pleasure during this trip to see Colby and his brother Brandon and get their first chance to, to deep sea fish. So uh, we've got Ronnie Harris here with us today. He's Colby's uh, father. And I'd like to get uh, Ronnie to talk a little bit about, you know, the trials and tribulations that uh, Colby has been through and what, you know, he was looking forward to this and what he felt about it before and then after. Because I think we, we he got to catch a lot of fish, right? Absolutely he did. Uh... Yeah, Kobe was diagnosed with a uh, ALL leukemia uh, a year and a half ago. And he was a normal child, very active, played sports, um, living, living life at, at the fullest. And uh, so this really socked us in the mouth. Um, the trip was was so special because this is really what all kids really want. They, these kids that are terminally ill, they want to be normal. They lived a normal life before. They got sick and that's really all they want to do now is live a normal life and this trip enabled us to you know step out of the 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 scenes of hospitals and clinic visits to be normal to be a kid and man this i, I was a kid myself during this this whole trip it was it was awesome it really was to see, to see kobe smile and do the things that he was able to do it, it, it's i'd never been deep sea fishing but this was the first for me as well He seemed uh, to adapt it real quickly to it, as did Brandon, and you did a pretty good job yourself. And a couple of those fish were pretty good size. I think you'd mentioned uh, that uh, before you've been bass fishing, but this is kind of a different league, wasn't it? Totally different world out there. Yeah, um, it was the, the species of fish that you could pull in at any given time was pretty amazing. And uh, how hard a 15 pound fish will fight you to, to the end was, is pretty, pretty spectacular. So he, uh, would you say that Colby, uh, this was kind of a dream he had that got realized? Yeah, absolutely. Um, he, uh, I have five boys. He and Brandon are the two that really take the fishing. They, they fish our, 
at our place on, on the water in Birmingham. And uh, so that this was perfect for them uh, to go do something like this, to really get away from the freshwater fishing, to get away to get to the saltwater fishing was very special for Colby and Brandon. And you feel like uh, Colby uh, had a good time? Oh, Colby, he's on cloud nine. Uh, he's still on cloud nine. Well, what would you say to other uh, parents that are in your situation about kids outdoors and the possibility of getting involved? I would definitely recommend it. If you truly want to see your child live a normal life that he did before he was sick and, uh, and be touched, uh, kids outdoors, it's second to none. Well, I think in your case, raising kids has its own set of challenges no matter what, and I think that but I would think particularly for a child that wasn't born with a, with a special need to, to basically have this come about later on would possibly be even tougher than having to deal with it all along because he's used to leading a normal life, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, again, um, to like what I said, is that's all they really want. They want to they, they be a normal teenager as they were before they got sick. And, and that's what they did. Uh, leukemia, like most illnesses, it catches you off guard. Um, it just comes out of nowhere. So living a normal life is exactly what they wanted to do. I want to thank Kids Outdoors for giving me the opportunity to go fishing on y'all's amazing organization y'all do. Y'all are a true blessing to every kid y'all do this for. Thank y'all. land management, sustainable habitats, food plots, natural resources, financing. Southern Ag Credit presents Land Talk, hosted by Alex Reiser on Find Your Outdoors TV. Hi folks, welcome back to Land Talk, brought to you by Southern Ag Credit. I'm your host, Alex Reiser, and for the next few weeks we're going to talk to you about how to find the best bang for your buck when purchasing recreational hunting property. And let me start by asking you a question. When you get online and look for properties for sale on the open market, what do they all have in common? I'll tell you. They all market the high points of the property but do not mention any of the flaws. So when you start putting a list of tracks together that you are interested in purchasing, you have no idea of their flaws. So I've put together a few questions that have got to be asked when purchasing recreational hunting property. The first question I have to ask is, what are the options for accessing the property? There are a lot of affordable recreational tracks available. What drives the price on property is if it has road frontage or a deeded easement or even being landlocked. The most preferred choice by most land buyers is to have public road access. This helps with getting utilities to the property and never having any access issues to that property. The next question is, how long has that property been on the market? The amount of time the property has been on the market can be very important. Sure, there are cases where someone is selling a tract because they can ask top dollar because of their financial position. But what if there is an external issue? going on with that property that may hinder it from being a good recreational track. Don't be afraid to do your own investigating and speaking to landowners around you. A good land realtor that is representing your needs can help you find these answers. That's all the time we have for today. Next week we'll continue our discussion and talk about surveying your land, utilities, and possible government assistance programs to help maximize your investment. Thanks for joining us on Land Talk presented by Southern Ag Credit. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And we'd like to make a special thanks to Greg and Julie Williams, Captain Eric Gill, and Cole Patronus for making this trip possible. And of course, Rick and Carol Clark are the power behind Kids Outdoors and all they do. And thanks so much to them for making this trip such a special one for the Harris family. If you want to know more about Kids Outdoors and how you can get involved, go to www.kidsoutdoors.org. See you next week.